Hello, my name is Ryan. Myself along with Lucy will narrate the following report on the Negleria fowleri, known as the brain-eating amoeba. This report is merely a part of the requirements for Mr. Daniel Ferranti to complete his course in biology. Shall we begin? Right then. Let me have a look at my notes. Ah yes. Here we go. It states that Negleria fowleri is a free-living inhabitant of warm fresh water, geothermal springs, soil, and sewage. These organisms are widely distributed throughout moist habitats, including naturally and artificially heated aquatic environments, where it feeds on bacteria. The Negleria fowleri is the causative agent of primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, which we will call PAM. PAM is a rare but nearly always fatal disease of the central nervous system. Causes of PAM resulting from infections with Negleria fowleri have been reported in over 15 countries, such as Africa, Asia, Europe, and North and South America. Because Negleria fowleri is a free-living organism, it can survive without a host. This would explain why Negleria fowleri attacks are so rapid and fatal. Furthermore, a host is not necessary to its survival so the parasite does not have to take great pains to avoid killing them. Without further ado, please sit back and enjoy the lecture on the dreadful parasite, Negleria fowleri, the brain-eating amoeba. Oh, I almost forgot. What you are about to view may be disturbing to certain individuals. However, please be assured that no human beings have been harmed in the development of this report. Lucy, are you ready to begin? Certainly. Lucy, let us begin with the classification of this little parasite. Certainly. Domain. Eukaryota. Kingdom. Excavatar. Phylum. Percolosa. Class. Heterolobosi. Order. Schizopleonida Family Volcanthidae Genus Negleria And Species Fowlery Negleria is a free-living amoeba commonly found in the following locations. Warm bodies of fresh water, such as lakes and rivers. Geothermal water such as hot springs. Warm water discharge from industry. Poorly maintained and minimally chlorinated swimming pools. Lastly, soil and sewage. Lucy, could you please tell the audience what it means to be a free living organism? Of course. First, the survival of the host is not necessary to its survival. Secondly, the amoeba does not have to take great pains to avoid killing the host. To continue, the Negleria fowleri exists in nature in three forms. The flagella, the amoeba, and, let's not forget, the cyst. Ryan, please feel free to join in at any time. So sorry. I was just taking a moment. Let me see. Yes, the flagellated form. Lucy, can you give us a picture? Here you are. I have magnified it 1000 times. First up, this would be considered the non-feeding, swimming stage. Secondly, this form is very motile, indicated by its shape and the double whip-like flagella, extending from one end. Thirdly. This is most likely the stage that infects persons, who are exposed to the parasite during water activities. And lastly, it is believed that infection is not dependent upon the immunity of the host. 
Shall we discuss the cyst? <laughs> Ryan, has that nasty bugger invaded our circuit boards as well? I am sure that we are fine. Please do continue, my dear. All right, then. I have magnified this picture 1,000 times. For your convenience. Of course. Many factors are thought to induce cyst formation, although none of them presently come to mind. The cyst is readily identified as a circular or oval body with a smooth single layer cell wall. Don't forget that the cysts possess one or more pores, which are mucus plugged holes that the regenerated amoeba will emerge through once conditions are favorable again. How how revolting is that 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 that? Oh my! That was not planned. I must apologize. Please forgive me. Ryan, are you alright? You know I don't like it when you fool around. Are you still here? Ryan, please talk to me. Here I am. Sorry about that, my dear. Right then. Glad you are well. Shouldn't we talk about the amoeba now? Certainly. Let me magnify the picture for you. What was it, you said? Ah yes, one thousand times. This protozoan usually feeds on bacteria, which makes it heterotrophic. It also proliferates by bromitotic division and moves about by extending and retracting of its pseudopod.